Hi. Yes, it's the end of 2013. In fact, here in Sydney, it is now 12 past 6 p.m. on December 31st, New Year's Eve. 2013 just gone, like that. Who would have thought? Next year's 2014, unbelievable. So I thought I'd do a uh, quick uh, yearly summary video of, well, what things have happened this year and possibly what's coming up next year. Um, as you know, I'm not huge on planning things. The blog just sort of continues to plod along and happen. And, well, I've been doing it full time for, what, uh, three years, I think, come uh, April. And, prob and the blog uh, full time for three years come April. And the blog itself for five years come April. So, yeah. Go figure, time flies. And so thank you very much to everyone who has uh, supported me, all the uh, advertisers, of course. It wouldn't happen without the uh, advertisers. I can't make enough money on this just from the YouTube uh, videos. So all those uh, advertisers you see down the side of the uh, screen on eevblog.com, uh, they all help support me. The forum uh, supporter, of course, uh, Fine Chips, and um, who is uh, Supply Frame. Of course, they've been supporting the forum for years now and they continue to do so. So thank you very much. That's awesome. And of course, the forum is, you know, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. It's just crazy. So if you're not on the forum, please get on there and uh, contribute to that. One of the uh, main things I do uh, try and want to do uh, next year is uh, possibly include more content on EEVblog because you know up until now I've just posted the occasional thing on there apart from just my uh, videos I've embedded the videos on there but I do want to create some more original content which goes on there so please check out eevlog.com and uh, yeah you'll find stuff only on there and it won't be on the video it doesn't mean I'm giving up videos of course it just means there'll be some additional text uh, content maybe some tear down photos or you know something like that other stuff happening on in on evlog.com but what has happened this year well uh, I'm now uh, I think 18 over 18 million views on YouTube I cracked a hundred thousand subscribers unbelievable it seemed like just yesterday I hit a thousand subscribers but here I am a hundred thousand and it just continues to grow and grow and grow it's just crazy and so I've basically doubled in the last year I've gained 9 million of those 18 million views, 9 million or half of them have been gained in the last year alone and more than, and I think I've gained uh, 66,000 subscribers in the last year as well. So that's fantastic. I don't know how that translates to, to you know, the exact number of people watching each video because there's a lot of people who subscribe, you know, with the intention to just sort of like bookmark the site and they don't regularly watch. But so I'm unsure as to how many regular viewers I've got, probably 30,000 or something like that a typical video might get these days, which is fantastic. But yeah, so growth has been phenomenal this year and it doesn't look like stopping. In fact, uh, some of the graphs, uh, the performance graphs in terms of the number of views uh, and you know daily views and things like that is just peaked in the last couple of weeks or something like that. And I haven't really put any huge uh, content out there that's gone viral or anything like that. So it's just, you know, just the uh, way that it snowballs on YouTube and the whole thing just it gains popularity. YouTube keeps ranking me higher and higher and well, I get more and more views every day. It's fantastic. And of course, something that ends in four hours is my Kickstarter campaign for the microcurrent. It's gone gangbusters. I think it has. It's probably, it's over 110,000 last I checked. I don't know. Haven't really checked in the last few hours. But anyway, fantastic. So yeah, I'm probably going to be up to my eyeballs uh, getting this thing manufactured in the next uh, couple of months. But of course, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to let me that, uh, let me stop making videos and I do plan to have um, a few more products and yes uh, the micro supply will probably eventually get done this year and well that's the idea is to a produce more content on eevblog.com b continue to produce content on my blog as I always have of course I've got a whole backlog of you know uh, teardowns product reviews and all sorts of stuff so there's no shortage of content I'll try and do uh, more tutorials as well but whew, these things take time it's unbelievable I'm snowed under really with the amount of 
content that I want to produce. It's crazy. So yes, I do want to produce a few more products this year, probably crowdfund them as well. Again, probably go back to Possible instead of Kickstarter. Kickstarter hasn't been that great, not as good as Possible. Anyway, anyway, I'll do a whole post on that on the evblog.com website. When it finishes tonight and tomorrow, I'll be able to actually send out my surveys, hopefully, to get people's addresses, and I'll know how Kickstarter works better. Anyway, look forward to some commentary on that, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, because I need um, uh, to find additional uh, sources of funding uh, apart from the advertising to potentially keep me afloat if advertisers just, you know, all sudden abandon ship, because that's always the risk with doing this sort of thing full time as the advertisers can just vanish. There's been some stupid, really incredibly dumb YouTube changes this year, which hasn't affected me uh, financially um, at the moment, but who knows? YouTube just keep doing stupid stuff. So, geez, it wouldn't surprise me. I'll wake up one morning and all my revenues from YouTube's just vanished. Oh, bloody YouTube. Geez, I know I make my living from it, but I can't help complain just like every other full-time content producer on YouTube. They're all complaining. It's not just me. Oh, anyway, so yeah, um, uh, products and probably merchandise and stuff like that. And I've always been talking about maybe some um, uh, pr premium sort of, you know, paid content, doing, you know, separate dedicated uh, tutorials or something, but I don't know. I've got too many, probably not going to happen this year. I've got too many other things on my plate uh, to get that happening. And I'd rather get some products out there, actually, rather, and just keep the information free for this year anyway. But hey, you never know. Things are always changing. I don't really have a plan for this. I never have, and I still don't. It just happens, day to day basis. That's the EV blog. So for those who aren't aware, there is also a supporters section on my forum. If you uh, donate over $25, I think it is, uh, for the year, you automatically get access to the private uh, section of the forum. There's not a huge amount of uh, extra content in there, but hey, it's just a little perk for people who do uh, financially support the blog. So thank you everyone who donates either through that um, supporters uh, section or for just the one-off uh, donations I get all the time and the monthly donations they really help a lot as well in addition to all the advertising and stuff like that so I'm doing pretty well I got no complaints at all the blogs going really strong uh, financially and yeah and content wise so I just want to continue that this year nothing ever changes here it's just the same old same old you know but I do want to uh, get some additional uh, equipment and stuff like that because one of my plans for this year is to clean up this crap. I mean, that's just, it, it trust me, it's just, yeah, it's garbage, right? It, this lab is an absolute mess and I do, uh, I'm hopefully going to get some better uh, teardown, live teardown video equipment uh, as well and I'll hopefully dedicate a bench to that. So uh, that should happen um, uh, early. 2013, I think like that. I'm teeing up with the manufacturer to get some, uh, you know, some pro video inspection gear. I want to set up a proper permanent uh, teardown photography bench as well, where I have my lights permanently set up, dedicated camera, it automatically, you know, it does that sort of stuff. So I want to sort of streamline the production process here. That's one of my goals. I'm, I do okay at the moment, but yeah, I've got a dedicated teardown bench and stuff like that. But to do like photos and things, I'm always dicking around. I do want to get onto my EV blab idea I've had for a while to auto upload some very quick uh, commentary and stuff like that. Maybe I might get back to uh, live shows. Please leave in the comments if you do like the uh, live shows and stuff like that, because there's a couple of um, technical uh, ways to do that that have improved in the last uh, year so maybe I can look into those and well yeah that's one of my goals is to streamline stuff here is to make it easy for me to produce content because there's nothing worse I come in the lab in the morning oh what am I going to do today oh, I don't want to do that tear down there because that involves doing this and this and this and I've got to set things up and oh god it's just all too hard so I want to make it easy for myself to do that so I'm going to invest uh, some time and money in that and hopefully that will pay off jeez I'm rambling on too much here anyway just a huge thanks to everyone who supported me in 2013 and well it'll be the same and more in 2014 hopefully so everyone thank you very much have a good new year's and 
I'll see you in 2014, six hours away. So yes, I'll try and uh, edit and upload this video before midnight tonight, and hopefully you'll see it before 2014 rolls around. That's the plan anyway. Otherwise, if it's already 2014, you survived, you made it. So did I. Brilliant. Catch you next time.